Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I've mentioned in a few videos the Google Takeout um, application or program, whatever you want to call it really. It's, uh, it's part of both Gmail and Google Workspace. So whether you just own a free Gmail account or you're paying Google every month to have the full set of Google functionalities on your own domain name, uh, which has changed name over the years quite confusingly from Google Apps to G Suite to now it's Google Workspace at the time I'm recording this. Um, and this is a tool that is um, accessible from a URL takeout.google.com. You can also just Google Google Takeout and you'll be brought to this page. Now I've mentioned this because I've done a lot of videos over the course of this YouTube channel about uh, backup and data protection, which is something I care about a lot. From a backup perspective, Google Takeout isn't ideal because it essentially replicates a full backup process. But if you really want to wait to get all your data out of Google periodically and create that full backup, it's probably the best way to do it. There's actually lots of third party applications or I should say a few such as uh, Synology's uh, Google Sync tool and a few um, backup utilities by third party providers, but they tend to only get parts of the Google ecosystem. And I, wanna, I wanted to make this video partially to show you what I mean by the full Google ecosystem or the full Google imprint or whatever you wanna call it. Basically, whenever you sign up for a Gmail or a um, Google Workspace account, each account has access to more services than you might expect. And these are listed in the uh, Google Takeout. So you can see, you can select multiple ones. I currently have zero of 50 selected. And I'm just gonna show you sort of quickly um, what these entail in an A to Z fashion as they're laid out here. And again, the point, the, the, one of the points of this video is just to say that when you're doing something like using the uh, Google backup tool in Synology that backs up, let's say your Google Drive, your Google email, um, and your Google contacts, right? That's three, but that's only actually three out of 50 tools in Google. So if you wanna really take out all your Google data and protect it and back it up, um, this is, to the best of my knowledge, the most complete way to do it. First thing, access log activity, collection of your account activity logs. So, and you can even see if you select it, when there are options for, um, you know, uh, things you can do in that backup, They'll present, they'll present them to you like your device activity usage. So these are logs that Google keeps related to your accessing of Google services. I'm not gonna, so I'm not actually gonna run this takeout. So I'm just gonna skip through lots of these, but draw your attention nevertheless to important ones. Android device configuration service, Android device attributes, performance data, software versions, and account identifiers. So again, this would be if you have phones tied to your Google account. Blogger, if you use Google's blogger service, whether on a paid or free basis, that's for running a blog. Google uh, Calendar, a really important one. Multiple formats or are available. Uh, so when I tick it, and you can also select which calendar is to back up for privacy reasons, I'm not gonna select show you mine. Uh, but if you tick in this, you can go more granular uh, by choosing which calendars you want to include in the export. Um, and once I select that, I'd be able to choose the formats between that I want to have them backed up as. Google Chrome, your bookmark history and other settings from Google Chrome, that's a very important one for a lot of people. Classic sites, so before Google Sites went through a UI overhaul, uh, this is if you want, if you built, built sites based on that, then you can access that data here. Google Print is, to the best of my knowledge, also deprecated. Um, but if you did want to pull it out, you can do it there. Contacts, again, important one for many people is everything saved in your Google Contacts. And you can select the format toggling between vCard or comma separated values for each contact. Uh, and it's got a little helpful text here. vCard, they recommend if you're importing this backup to a program on Mac or iOS, where a CSV is uh, more cross-format uh, cross compatible. Crisis use reports, the drive, extremely important when most people think about taking their data out of Google for backup. When, if you ask your average person, what do you care about? They'd probably tell you Google Mail, uh, my Google Drive, um, my contacts and my calendars, right? So the rest of the stuff is kind of either services that a lot of people don't use or stuff that's not so important. 
uh, Google Fit data, if you use Google Fit, so that's, this is, again, I'm just trying to emphasize here that you may not even think about it if you have a Google or Google, um, Gmail or Google Workspace account, that you might have some data sitting in all these repositories, and this is a way to get them out. Google Takeout, data registration account activity. Google Business Profile, very important if you uh, manage a Google My Business Profile, GMB through your Gmail or Google Workspace. Uh, tick this and you'll be able to get them out and you can see the type of information and how it's going to be presented to you in a JSON format. Um, for instance, you're going to be getting the reviews that you've received, your replies to them. So really, this is a treasure trove of uh, data that you may not even realize is sitting in Google. The photos and videos you uploaded to accompany those, um, that page, that's going to be available in the JSON. So maybe it's going to be there as links. Google help communities, um, when you're interacting on the Google support forums, if you create an account linked to a Google account, uh, you're gonna be creating data in the format, in the in the form of uh, creating posts, answering other people's threads, etc. And this box will pull out that data. Google Pay, Google kind of self-explanatory, if you use Google Pay, um, your save passes activity using your virtual account numbers, Google Photos, this is one that maybe I should have mentioned in the kind of core Google data imprint. Um, I personally have probably terabytes of photos organized into Google albums. And clicking this, uh, multiple formats and all photo albums included. So if you want to do, if you have, if you have a lot and you only want a few albums, then click on this, uh, this button here and you'll get to choose which ones to extract. Google Playbooks, everything related to the Google Play Store, uh, your app installs, ratings, and orders. Um, and then these four, Google Play Console, game services. So your Google Play imprint can be taken out through these boxes. We're only about halfway there, so I'm gonna just try to keep it as quick as I can. Google Shopping, order, history, loyalty, addresses, and reviews. Groups, very important part of the Google data imprint for a lot of people. Uh, you might have uh, groups set up. You can sometimes use groups to route email. That's what I use them for. Uh, so again, if I tick that, we'll get multiple formats and we can get the group info, the group posts as an inbox, which will include the attachments um, or uh, and group memberships as a CSV. Hangouts, Google Home app, device, room, home and history information from the home app. And by clicking more info, sometimes they link off to external resources. This one's just a pop-up. It's going to be in JSON format and you'll get all that info. Google Keep, very important. Google Mail, Google Maps. Um maps your places and my maps so these are three different selectors one two and three these would all be important for um, a lot of people for my maps as you can see they will dump out your data in um, kml or kmz so you can use it in a different navigation program uh, and then you, maps your places would be like when you save lists on your google maps like when you save addresses to lists uh, that would be maps your places and maps uh, would be if I just take this again in multiple formats uh, my label sorry my label places is here food and drink preferences navigation feedback so really everything is a great tool Google does a very good job at liberating as much data as your average person could possibly uh, create but it comes up to this big big laundry list of services Google News I'd imagine is just your um, it's coming out as a TXT list of topicals articles magazines and other topics you follow or have saved on Google News Profile, uh, your Google profile, um, settings and images from your Google, Google profile. Um, I'm skipping over some here, street view, tasks, and finally another biggie in the uh, archive would be YouTube. So that would be, and this is a, this could be potentially a huge data repository depending on how active you are. For instance, I have tons and tons of YouTube playlists saved. I have a YouTube channel, the one you're watching on. In fact, I have several YouTube channels. And some of these, in order to extract from a specific uh, YouTube channel, for instance, that's not a Google account, that's a brand account. And you need to click on the logo there at the top right and shift into your brand account and then run the backup separately. So after the takeout separately, after you've selected all the services you want, um, you just use the tick boxes and then click a uh, next step, download and choose whether you want it as a zip or a tar GZ. And finally, that'll get to your email. So that's Google takeout. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Just as a quick FYI, I'm recording this video on the 26th of June and it's possible that this will have completely radically changed by the time you're watching this video, but hopefully not. 
um, and that is everything in it. So if you are interested in protecting your uh, Google data, one of the ways you can do that is by periodically downloading Google takeouts from takeout.google.com. And you can either select all 50 services each time, but it might be a very heavy backup. What you can also do is go through, deselect everything and go through it one by one, just choosing the places that you commit data to on Google. Hope this video is useful. Thank you for watching and uh, more videos coming soon.